we can have two uh, carboxylic acids out of this. Absolutely. Yeah, that's right. That's a good thing to have noticed. Oh, and it really didn't give me much trouble. That's good. What type of functional group did we start with here? Um, we started with an uh, ethanoic anhydride. That's right. So you actually named the specific one, ethanoic anhydride. That's right. And what type of reaction is this? What's the general this name? Is a hydrolysis. Yeah. To be more specific, we could call this a anhydride hydrolysis. And so we're not surprised that we got carboxylic acids. That's what you get when you hydrolyze a carboxylic acid derivative. You get carboxylic acids although you don't always get two of them like we did here. You did a bunch of good things here. You were using your asterisks to keep track of the oxygen. Um, also, you very clearly marked out who the L group was going to be at some point so that we didn't get lost between them. This is the step where it would be most easy to get confused, but you just reform the carbonyl. Um, it might have been acceptable here to transfer the proton over to here to make this a better leaving group, but actually I think the way you drew it is a little bit more conventional. So the way you drew it is fine or maybe even better, but it would also be reasonable to do a proton transfer here. Uh, but uh, it's perfectly fine to do the proton transfer here as well. In fact, maybe that's a little more conventional. So I, I think you, you did work out the best way to do this. This is certainly the most logical thing to use here to take this proton. Uh, what's the specific name for this carboxylic acid? Um, um, acetic acid? Yeah, and how about this one? Acetic acid. Yeah, because this was a symmetric anhydride, we got two of the same carboxylic acid. The common name here we were already seeing was acetic acid. That's right. The place where people would be most likely to get confused is this step, uh, but you didn't get confused. We didn't need a catalyst here, because again, this is one of the more reactive elements. It has a very good leaving group here, and this negative charge is stabilized by resonance. Show the mechanism here.
don't uh, race anything just yet. I think you're on the right track. Let's see. Actually, I don't think you made any mistakes so far. Um, I'm just, uh, okay. No, I, I forgot that I had one. I was looking for something that was going to decode me without giving a negative charge because that would not be right in acid right. conditions. That's good that you're thinking about that. So I'm just going to use the water. That seems reasonable. Acidic acid, the hydronium, and the ethanol. Acetic acid. Excuse me, acidic, acetic acid. Good. Uh, and, and ethanol? Good. Yeah. You're right. The only thing I forgot on this one is to label my carbonyl carbon with my carbonyl oxygen. Yeah, no, that, that's a, a real good approach here. Um, you left out one little arrow here that frees up the electrons oh, to throw them back on. onto the oxygen. That's got rid of the positive charge. Okay, good. Yeah, all right, so um, you marked out early on who the L group was going to be. That's good, so we don't get confused about that. Again, this is a, a picture. Here's the picture where people, well, let's take this from the beginning. You notice that we were under acid-catalyzed conditions, so we have to start by protonating somebody. If you're under acid-catalyzed conditions, you have to start by protonating somebody. And we don't want to protonate the water. That doesn't give us anything interesting. And it's actually not even that helpful to protonate this group yet. The best thing to start by protonating is the carbonyl. We kind of just have that memorized. Um, but you have that memorized. How, um, we know that when we're attacking an ester, we do need a catalyst. How did the, this protonation stuff help us? How did protonating this molecule help the reaction? It made the uh, carbonyl carbon more electrophilic. Exactly. Good. We know this positive charge is spread over the whole molecule, so it's making this, positive uh, this carbon more electrophilic, which is necessary because this is one of the less reactive types of molecules, so we needed to be more electrophilic. Now here's a picture where people oftentimes get messed up. Um, now again, this has a positive charge, and in this case, we're not going to wait. We're going to take up, we're going to deprotonate right now. Now, a mistake a lot of people would make is moving the photon over to here. But that would be useless because we don't want this to leave. We want this to reform the carbonyl. So we don't want to give it any, even more protons. This is where it's very helpful that you recognize that this was the L group. So this is the group that we need to put the proton on. Um, and how does putting the proton here help us? What well, makes this into a better leaving group? Excuse me. Bless you. So here, this helped us to make this into a better leaving group. Now, it would be absolutely unacceptable under these conditions for this to leave until it's protonated. Why can't this leave in this picture? Because it would be uh, a negative charge right. that doesn't Good. exist in an yeah. acidic condition. Acidic conditions keep everything positive or neutral. Yeah. So this cannot leave until it's become positive so that when it leaves, it becomes neutral. If it left in this picture, it would be negative. That's not consistent with our conditions. That's one of the most common mistakes people make. All right, and then you weren't quite sure how to take off this proton here. Uh, but there's lots of good candidates. You could use the water to take it off. You could use this alcohol to take it off. Um, remember, this is just shorthand. This was really some acid. So if we had drawn the full acid, we could have said this to say sulfuric acid. And then we could have used the sulfate to take this off. And to be honest, a lot of instructors just get lazy and they don't even show who's, who's taking this off. Sometimes they just draw this and they just pretend like the hydrogen is just dropping off, even though that's not what's really happening. Somebody must be taking it. Uh, but sometimes they don't show who's taking it. Um, so, um, because they didn't show what the rest of the acid is here. Um, so it's, it's not quite clear who would take this, but that's fine. 